We are at a hot spot in downtown Casper. Hi, my name is Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. I am Matt Galloway with the Gaslight Social, Galloway's Pub, Keg and Court, El Marco Lanes. Yes. We're at the Gaslight Social. Yes. So let's talk about that. Yes, we are. Guess well, a few different places. So there's a lot of things to do here, and things. it's even family friendly. So tell us a little bit about that. First and foremost, yes, we are family friendly from, we open at 11 a.m. every day and we are uh, family friendly till 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. we turn more bar friendly and so it's 21 <laughs> and over after that. But it is a great spot to bring your kids. Daytime, early evening, come out for dinner or for lunch. We have all the arcade games. We have redemption centers where they can get prizes. Um, you just load up a card, it gets you, you know, you can put whatever amount you want on there, 5, 10, 20, 500, whatever you want to put on the card. Mm -hmm. You sit there and play games. You load up on points. Once you get the points, you can go redeem them on our, our uh, arcade center, and you get prizes from little dinky toys to bigger prizes, um, to stuffed animals and matchbox cars, so it's really fun. Um, and then the evening, like I said, we transition to much more of a bar environment, mm -hmm. um, and that's what we do. We do at least about four shows a year, or excuse me, a month of live music. Um, we do DJs um, basically every Friday and Saturday. We don't have live music. Um, we do silent discos, which is a new craze, which is really fun. I don't know if you haven't done that yet. You need to no, do that. No, tell us what that is. Okay, so what you do is you get headphones. Everybody checks out some headphones. And then you have three DJs on stage. So that one is green, one is red, one is blue. And so you put on the headphones, and you can choose which DJ you want to listen to, and you're listening to their particular <laughs> music. So then you go find other people out on the dance floor that are listening, that have the same color of headphones you do, and you're all dancing to that particular song. Now I've heard now it it's all. even wilder That's awesome. when you're not on the inside, <laughs> because then you get to see three different dance styles going on. You're trying to guess what kind of music they're listening to. It's an absolute blast. We tried it out for the first time last spring, and it was a huge hit, and we brought it back two times since, and we're going to start doing it about every other month, because it is. That's awesome. It's a rave. Yep. So what live music have you had? What are the, uh, the few? Oh, man, some... we hit a ton of genres. You know, we actually got a bunch of big stuff coming up. We have uh, Jared Neiman, which is a huge uh, mm -hmm. up-and-coming country star. Yep. Um, we got him coming up soon. We have a ska band from the 90s that's still pretty relevant uh, called The Toasters that's coming up. Um, we've got a rock concert coming in March, Power Man 5000. They had uh, their triple platinum. Um, so we've got some really exciting stuff. You know. Okay, so now I want to ask you about how you got started in, the, in this restaurant business. So we by know. By mistake. By mistake. No. Okay, tell us about it. Um, no, I, uh, I went to college at University of Wyoming, uh, ran a bar down there. My family had uh, owned a bowling alley bar here in Casper. How and long then, have they uh, owned that? Uh, my dad's been there since the gee, late 60s, I think. Um, and our family actually bought it in uh, the late 80s, early 90s. And then we just a pool hall and we opened a bar. So I kind of knew the business. I went to undergrad and grad school at UW. After I got uh, my MBA, I moved back, and then we decided to expand on the bar, and then we built another one on the east side of town, the Keg and mm -hmm. Cork, and then me and some friends and my brother decided uh, all this stuff was going on downtown, <laughs> and rather than be on the outside yep. looking in, we Better wanted to get down here. Yep. So we had to get down here. So it was beautiful because we all kind of had visions we wanted to accomplish, and we were able to homogenize that all into one thing. Mm -hmm. And we were able to do everything everybody wanted to do. And I couldn't be more proud of this place. It's, it's super fun. So, um, and of course, we have all the arcades, two pool tables, two dartboards. You got everything. If you, there's something you want to do, you're going to find it here. And we really forgot about the food. Oh, and the food. Because the have food a great is menu. amazing. Yes, we have a great menu. So we'll have the Bohemian Burrito, which is its own uh, mm -hmm. entity, its own thing. But then we have a menu as well, which we offer great sandwiches, phenomenal salads. As you know, we love our salads. Um, they're huge. They're huge bowls. We pride mm -hmm. ourselves on that at all three places, to be honest. Um, so we have salads, we have sandwiches, our app menu is to die for. We have a nacho trop, we call it a trop literally. It's my, one of my favorite things ever. Yeah, thank you, and I love that. Um, <laughs> we deep fry our own chips, um, we come straight from tortillas. Um, so it's exciting, yeah. So we have great food, great place, family friendly till 8 p.m. So we encourage people to bring their kids out, come have some fun, get some great food, watch a great game, listen to some good music on the stereo, and your kids can play arcades and have a blast, and everybody's happy, everybody's copacetic. Okay, so tell us your favorite thing that's on the menu to end it. Uh, One thing. Well, probably the nacho trough. I gotta admit, the nacho trough, I love that the most. Um, so, uh, the, I, my very favorite thing I ate by accident. Okay. It was, um, or it is, the chicken strips. Yes. And, and french fries my... dipped in the fry sauce. We have fry that sauce. That is the best And we have fry ever. sauce, yes. The fry sauce you get at <laughs> Burger King or Dairy Queen, places like that, we actually offer that for our customer as well. And ironically, the better. chicken strips are getting put in, we're getting ready to do a new sandwich with chicken strips. Oh, so it'll sign be me up for that. Of bread. Yeah, amazing. Done, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's over. So that'll be, that'll be mm -hmm. fantastic, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Okay, so you can have fun. 
You can eat, you can drink, and of course, you can be married. You can be married. I love it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you later. Bye. That was good. We are.